Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video that I'm bringing you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Paragon and the new Grim.exe hero. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If I leave anything out, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you ASAP. I'm going to be showing you the abilities that he has, the deck that I use and some gameplay at the end. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get into the abilities. The first one is of course his base attack which um, is the pulse cannon. It deals just under 40 energy damage. It's actually really good. Um, quite slow, but then again, whose character's base attack isn't slow, you know? They don't want you to go around destroying heroes ASAP. Um, the next one is a deflector shield. This is something that I don't personally use, um, just because it kind of sucks. The shield lasts about a second, and what it does is it briefly generates a shield that blocks the next incoming enemy ability. If the shield successfully blocks an ability, um, Grim.exe gains 90 mana. Um, so it's okay against people's ultimates, maybe. Um, unless you're facing Gideon or something like that, where his ultimate is, is like for a few seconds. It's like a toggle thing for a few seconds, uh, of which case it would suck. So, you know, that's that. And next, moving on to Displacement Blast. It's a lob shot that deals 20 energy damage and applies knockback from the center of the explosion, which means if you use it for minions, they will, go, they will uh, get knocked back in multiple different positions, even closer to a tower if you're by a tower. Um, of which case you just blast or pulse cannon them uh, to death. But the next one is suppression mode. Um, basically, it allows the basic attacks to consume less mana um, and apply a minus 40 slow for 1.5 seconds. I'm really not sure what the slow does, um, but the mana is kind of useful. I don't really use this ability too much as and when I can or, or remember it's there. Um, but moving on to the ultimate, we have Grim.exe. It's called GTFO. I'll leave that up to you, what that stands for. Um, it locks onto an enemy hero. After a short channel, a gyro-targeted force orb is launched. The orb will pass through the world and non-hero units dealing 340 energy damage upon hitting a hero. This is very, very good. I love this ultimate. Um, its range is actually pretty good. Probably two, three times the range that you can shoot. Um, it is very powerful. It is obviously upgradable as well and with the more energy damage and things like that you do the more this is Next do. moving on to the deck that I currently use now Let me just tell you that I don't really have that many cards. I'm level 10 I haven't really unlocked that many cards um, that could be used with Grim, but I chucked this together today um, after having one game against the AI and I got my Ass handed to me basically zero and 14 or something like that then the next was like 19 and 1 um, which I'll show some footage of a bit later on but this one uh, this deck seems to really work online and offline um, of which I will show you some of the the um, the scores that I got um, but anyway let's go through the deck so the prime doesn't really make too much difference to me I just go for energy damage and uh, damage bonus uh, if we get this that's great I normally use it on the core if that's the case um, of which it obviously destroys it uh, especially at that point because you'll have loads of damage now I must say that this is primarily damage based this deck um, if I go back, Grim Deck, you've got, going to hover over it, thank you, attack 62%, 27% defense, and 10% um, technical, whatever that, I can't remember, what, my mind's gone blank, I haven't actually slept, by the way, so this is, this is bad, it's currently 12pm, and I haven't slept, anyway, um, consumables, guard token, I tend to go for physical armor, because the people that are going to get close to you are melee um, characters, right, so, Energy damage, not too much of a big deal. Probably is when you, if you're like low in level compared to the enemies, but I don't know. We'll, we'll really cross that road. But at that point, you just really go for minion kills and level yourself up. But I don't know. Um, anyway, next, Harvester's Key. This is pretty standard. You all know what this is. Um, health potion, mana potion. Now, the equipment, like I said, I don't really have too many available upgrades for this, but I've gone with a pretty sweaty loadout, so to speak. Um... Passive, obviously, it gives you 75 mana and 7.6 energy damage from the very beginning. Um, and on top of that, I have advanced mana, um, a regular cast, and uh, another mana. Um, of which, just in case I need to really improve it, I don't normally. I'll probably swap these out for energy damage when I get the cards. Um, but I only have like 8 energy damage, uh, 8 regular, uh, like super casts or whatever they're called. What are they called? Uh, let's go down. What are they call major casts, right? So I only have like eight of those, um, of which I I can't really use um, because I don't have any more. So 
Anyway, moving on to the next one, Elder Mage Amulet, which is 7.6 energy damage plus 100 health, just in case you need that little bit of a health boost. I've put three greater healths in there, as well as another card. Try and get as I've used as many, I think all of my damage cards actually, um, available. So just in case I want to upgrade it, um, I can go ahead and do so. Then the next one is Tuned Barrier. Um, it gives me energy um, armor as well as more health. So just in case I need to improve the armor if I'm getting wrecked, I will uh, put this together and um, hopefully it will stop me from getting wrecked. Next, Rift Major Scepter. It's a 7.6 energy damage plus uh, four, crit, uh, 4 crit chance, which the crit chance at later on is probably more useful for me. Normally I just go for as much damage as I can straight away. Um, but this is very, very useful, of course, because it can, like, triple your damage. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I've gone with three regular casts and three different uh, various uh, crit chance um, upgrade cards, of which are all very, very good. This is the card that I normally buy from the get-go, which is the Sorcerer's Ward. Now, this gives uh, 7.6 energy damage, 16 energy uh, penetration, and 4 life steal. Um, and it has six major casts on there for me to upgrade and use in the future, which is incredible. That's normally what I go for. I normally try and max those out as soon as possible. Um, the next is Whirling Wand. 7.6 energy damage and 6.5 speed um, uh, attack speed. Now, I have two more major casts on this. A major kinetic and three regular kinetics, just in case I want to upgrade my um, attack speed, which I tend to do later on in the game just because... Like I said, I want to get as much damage as I can um, straight away. So let's get into the gameplay, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And um, let's get going. All right, guys. So getting onto the gameplay, I've really just gone into the theater. At the time, I was playing with a friend, so I didn't particularly want to record. Um, and it was really early in the morning, um, so I waited a little bit. But this is basically what the, the uh, hero does in-game. He is very, very good. Um, especially with minion kills. At first, he's quite slow to get minion kills, but um, going in to get more damage and things, he can like one shot them. Especially if you have the the crit chance, he is uh, he would do like 600 damage to them, um, which is ridiculous. But anyway, like I said, this is on the theater mode, so you can see that it's online from the names in the right, uh, left and right of the screen. Um, but this is quite close to the end of the game. We'll be 25 minutes in. Um, we had what six minutes left. Probably going to show you the majority of this, if not all of it. Um, this is where I did end this game. What at this point I was five, four, and seven. So seven assists. Some guy in this, um, this guy here, sorcery DPS, kept nicking all my freaking kills, which is annoying. Um, you can see just the damage that I'm doing at this point. It's 25 minutes in. Like this isn't even like fully upgraded. The damage that I was doing at this point was very, very good for me, um, and was getting the job done effectively. So. That is what I wanted to do. I do go ahead and... Uh, do I do I trade a kill? I think I do. Um, but you can just see the damage that I'm doing to these different... These heroes on the op opposite team. I'm doing a hell of a lot of damage. I do die here, I think. Um, which I chose the wrong the wrong point to show, didn't I? <laughs> but I knew I was going to die there. Um, I was just hoping for the best. Now, his movement kind of sucks. Right? It is pretty terrible. Um, that's the only downside to him. If he was faster, moved a little bit faster... He would be incredible, probably unstoppable, probably the most OP hero on the game. So there's obviously a reason why they never done that. Um, but yeah, you can you can kind of see why. Let's skip forward 10 seconds. Um, but it was, like I said, a lot of fun to play with him. I played with him for like five, six um, episodes straight. Uh, episodes? A game straight. So it was pretty um, incredible to play with him. But anyway, let's get into the next spawn. Um, he goes down, obviously. Um, now, this is kind of the movement that he has. This is the full speed movement that he has. Compared to, like, Kalari and things like that, he's very, very slow. He's got a mobility of one. He doesn't have any moves that makes him faster. Um, I don't think... I don't have any cards that um, add movement speed, but, of course, you could add those to your deck um, if you'd like. I'm, I'm not saying you should make the deck that I have. These are just... Alright guys, sorry about that. I just had someone turn up at the door. It made me jump. Um, so, anyway. You can see that at this point in the game, he's pretty good at clearing minions, like I've said. Even with like the super minions, um, he's very, very good at clearing them late game. So, you could literally put him... If you're in a bad position and the other team's winning, you could literally put him at uh, just, uh, just your core 
and he would defend them. He's he's very, very good, as long as you obviously have the right deck and the right cards to go with that. Now, I was just kind of following him around. Like I said, I was talking to a friend of mine, so at this point we were just messing about. We knew we were going to win the game. Like, it was pretty obvious at this point. We destroyed them very, very quickly with both of us, because we were both playing this. We played the same similar uh, type of play. He kind of just runs away. Uh, runs a around he's gonna, he's gonna hate me for saying run away um but yeah he kind of just runs around uh, around from like side to side whereas i stick to one side normally and i uh, try and defend it of course unless there's like four people on one side then i'll run over to that side as well but yeah so he was he heading back there was minions behind us he was heading back we wanted to take this right um i can't remember what it's called i can't remember what it's called this thing i don't know if you can see my mouse that thing there i can't remember what it's called um, I keep wanting to say Guardian, but I'm probably wrong. I think these are towers. I'm going to say Guardian. And then you got the core, right? I don't know. It's probably a smite reference. Um, but anyway, yeah. So we wanted to take this out, but in order to get that, obviously, we wanted we needed the minions to get a clear path. and we, So we took out the, uh, uh, the enemy minions. And we went for this. So we were taking this tower out. This was really, really easy. There was one of them, obviously. I go ahead and, um, and miss out on that kill, but... I, I do still have my, my ultimate, and this is pretty incredible. Um, so I go ahead and keep that. I think I use that later on. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and head back. I think I put all of the all of my cards on, like, damage and stuff. Because we knew we were going to win the game, so we, put, we decided to put everything on damage. And if we skip forward maybe 20 seconds, um, if I skip forward a little bit, I'm kind of go. I'm kind of learning this as I go. Then you'll see just how how much we wreck them uh, towards the end. So I'm just about making my way over there. There's what, right? Five. All of them are there, as well as minions as well. Like there, there's two that are on low health, and then the rest are on pretty much full health. And I go ahead and use my ultimate on this guy because he knew that his life was uh, he's done basically. So I went ahead and taken that kill. The turrets are annoying um, with Iggy. Um, but they're quite obviously if you have the damage that, um, in your deck then then it will be quite easy to get those as well My poor aiming stops me from getting that kill unfortunately, but you know rampage goes ahead and steals it I take out more of these turrets when I realize that I'm I'm uh, getting a little bit hot in certain places that I don't particularly want to be and Then I I go and wreck mate get a three kill uh, a triple kill take the core out and we go ahead and win the game so this is the type of play that I like doing um, not really too much that I could particularly show you, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please do go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all of the good stuff. If you want more Paragon um, and stuff, let me know in the comments section, and I will see you next time, guys. Take care.